What's going on guys? I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Y'all do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share button, hit that notification bell down at the bottom. I sure appreciate it. It helps my channel out greatly. <sighs> so I like and enjoy hearing all these Michigan fans talk about how they gonna beat Georgia. Georgia don't have a chance. The playoffs are upon us. We will find out Friday 7 7 30 if Michigan is going to beat Georgia. I said in my last video if Georgia plays the way they did against Alabama against Michigan, yes, Michigan will beat Georgia. Do I see that happening? No. Georgia will come out looking like a different team. The defense will play a lot different, a lot better. Now, I've had people tell me that it wasn't Stetson Bennett's fault that Georgia lost that Alabama game. Yes, it was Stetson Bennett's fault. It was the offense's fault. It was the defense's fault. It was all the above. Now, if Georgia's offensive line can't stop this Aiden Hutchison, the defensive end or defensive tackle for Michigan, then Stetson Bennett is going to be in trouble. He is the best defensive lineman in the country. Might be better than Jordan Davis. Georgia's offensive line is going to have to double team this guy. So Georgia is going to have to come up with an offensive game plan to try to contain Hutchison. Do I believe Michigan will run, be able to run on Georgia's defense? I know they have two great running backs. And if I ain't mistaken, one of them has over a thousand yards rushing this season. But I believe Nolan Smith, Nicobe Dean, Quay Walker, Jordan Davis, Devontae White can slow Michigan's running game down. Now, Michigan is coming from the cold to the heat. That can make a big difference in this ball game. Georgia is used to playing in hot weather. Michigan's not. Yes, I understand Michigan, y'all dominated Ohio State, y'all beat Ohio State. But like I said, you're doing the same thing us Georgia fans did before we played Alabama. You're talking. 
I wouldn't talk too much because it just might come back to bite you. Now, JT Daniels is cleared to play in this game Friday. The question is, will Kirby Smart put JT Daniels in if Stetson Bennett starts making mistakes? Will he actually pull Stetson Bennett from this game? I know a lot of Georgia fans are hoping so. Do I see it happening? I don't know. Kirby Smart is too in love with Stetson Bennett. Now I've said it before. Stetson Bennett is not a quarterback that can win you big games. Yeah, he can get you to these big games when you're playing teams like Tennessee, Auburn, Florida, South Carolina, Missouri. But he has proven that he can't get the job done. Kirby Smart, whether it's Friday or whether it's next year, he is going to have to do a better job of choosing and picking the right quarterback to put in games. Now, I've heard that Brock Vandergriff is transferring after the season. Can Georgia's offensive line hold up to Michigan's defense? Will Matt Luke have this offensive line prepared to withstand Michigan's defense? My question is, now, we all know Dan Lanning will be Oregon's next head coach. Will he be too focused on Oregon Ducks, or will he actually be focused on this game? Will he have this defense ready and prepared and fired up for this game. If Georgia's defense starts making mistakes and lets Michigan's offense take control the whole game, then we know Dan Lanning's mindset it and really on this game. You got Alabama and Cincinnati. Now, Cincinnati will be in this game for a little while, but I don't see them winning. Alabama will win against Cincinnati. Now, I do know Georgia's defensive backs <laughs> are going to have to cover these receivers. They're not going to be able to give these receivers a 10-yard cushion.
if they do, then Michigan's receivers are going to eat these defensive backs alive. And I can tell you, Michigan likes hitting their receivers off of screen passes. And that is something that Georgia has trouble stopping are these wide receiver screen passes. They're going to have to do a better job of having the right amount of defenders out there in space to stop this screen pass. If not, <laughs> then it's going to be a long day for Georgia. But I am loving all these comments about how Georgia's not going to win. They don't have a chance. Michigan, Michigan's going to dominate Georgia. Michigan's got a better winning record in big games like this. I am loving all this talk. And that's why I make videos. I enjoy it. I enjoy reading people's comments. Some of them make me laugh. <laughs> that's why I do these videos. I enjoy hearing what different fan bases have to say. It's all part of football. Trash talk. Every fan is going to talk trash about another team. You're going to talk trash when you want your team to win. I look for this to be a good game. I look for it to be a close game. But Georgia will come out on top. Georgia is going to bring a different team, a different attitude to this game. Will Georgia be able to run the ball on Michigan's defense? If Georgia's offensive line is able to push and create space against Michigan's defensive front, then Georgia will be able to run the ball. Georgia is going to have to be creative. On offense they're gonna have to mix it up and there is one thing Kirby smart needs to get out of this defensive defense wins games not no more <laughs> and he's gonna have to start realizing Defense don't win you games nowadays. Your offense does. Your offense has to be able to score points. You cannot depend on your defense in this time era now. And if Georgia's defense is on the field more than the offense, then yeah, Georgia's in trouble. Maybe we will see JT Daniels in this game. Do I think Georgia has a better chance of winning this game with JT Daniels in? 
Yeah, I do. If Kirby Smart starts Stetson Bennett and Bennett starts making mistakes and Kirby Smart don't pull him and put in JT Daniels, then Georgia will lose this game. And that's why Georgia has a better chance of winning with JT Daniels than Stetson Bennett. Now, maybe Stetson Bennett will prove us all wrong. But Georgia's defense cannot play like they did against Alabama, nor can that offense. So let's hope Kirby Smart and this coaching staff learn something during that Alabama game. And maybe they've prepared and changed some things up game planning wise against Michigan and you know <laughs> I like how some of these Alabama fans are even against Georgia saying that Michigan's gonna beat Georgia Like I said, I enjoy hearing all these different fan bases. I enjoy reading y'all's comments, and that's why I make these videos. If Kirby's smart, don't get the job done Friday. I would look for him to start being and mentioned and talked about on the hot seat. I'm not saying they'll fire him. But I am saying if he don't get the job done this year, then he will be on the hot seat. I am ready for Friday. Seven, seven thirty. It's going down. Georgia and Michigan. Let's see. If there's going to be any changes on the offensive side of the ball, let's see if they've made any changes, any different preparation. Let's see if they've prepared the defense.
I believe Georgia's going to look like a different team come Friday. And I believe these kids know they want a rematch with Alabama and they want the national championship. They say a team has never won twice in a season. I believe Georgia is about to shock Michigan. And it's like I just said, N'Kobe Dean, Quay Walker, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, I can name them all, are going to be prepared. So Michigan, y'all keep talking, I'll keep listening, I'll keep responding to y'all's comments. But I want y'all to know, y'all haven't seen a defense like Georgia's. Yes, Georgia's defense didn't play well against Alabama. And I know they say Georgia's defense got overrated when they when we played Clemson. But Georgia's about to show y'all a defense. I will be making another video Friday. Now I'm going to go ahead and say it. Y'all stay tuned Friday because I will be making another video. I appreciate all y'all fan fan bases. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos for the ones that enjoy them. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all do me a favor, leave comments down below and y'all please like and subscribe. Like I said, it helps my videos get out there and help my videos out greatly. Win, lose, or tie. I'm a dog fan till the day I die. Go dog.